In this video, you'll learn how to create your own burn barrel for your backyard. It's a pretty straightforward process and you'll to get started, you'll want to make sure that you have the burn barrel that you got from either Craigslist or say Rural King. That's where we got ours. You'll also want to make sure you have some eye protection, your drill bits, as well as a drill to get started. If you want, you could also do this with a metal punch and a hammer, but this seemed to be a lot easier. And it wouldn't hurt to have some gloves on since you're dealing with shards of metal as well. But we didn't do that in this video. So the first thing that we did was we went ahead and measured the area out. Really, we just wanted to be a little uniform in placing our holes around the area. And you just go through with a Sharpie to mark where you want to put the holes. So we did that for the whole area. And then once we're done, we have probably about 18. So we had three across from top to bottom of the barrel. And then we had six around the barrel in each level that equaled out to about 18. And then on the bottom, you can do four on the bottom. We ended up doing more like 11 because the last time four just didn't seem to be enough for us. Then the next thing you wanna do is get the drill bit that works best for you. We started off with a quarter drill bit and then moved to a three eighths drill bit. We were trying to preserve the drill bits, but you can just start with the three eighths if you prefer. Now you just wanna go through the process of drilling all of the holes. And then when you're done with the sides, you can just flip it up and do the bottom as well. Once that's all finished, you can flip it up and see what it looks like. If you see the holes in there, there's a nice little structure to the way that the holes look. And we like that. Next, you just want to take the burn barrel where you're going to put it. You'll want to place the burn barrel on cinder blocks and put it in a designated location in your backyard or in your yard. And the cinder blocks just help to improve the airflow for your burn barrel. It also gets it off of the ground so it doesn't heat up the ground as much, as well as it allows for better drainage for your burn barrel. So we're going to bring this to our back. You see, this is where our old one is, which still looks pretty good. And we have a grate on top, but I'll show you what it looks like underneath. One of the reasons why you want to have proper drainage is because the bottom will just rust out super easily. We've had this about 16 months, which is really pretty good because we end up getting the burn barrels from Real King and for $20, but it's not very thick. The metal is not, it's thick enough and it'll do fine for burning materials that you need. It just won't last for very long. It especially it won't last since we left some ashes in the bottom and it, ash with water is very caustic. So it just eats through that metal super easily. So for the area, just make sure that any brush or leaves are not in the area and you can readjust your cinder blocks. Ideally, some people say to do four so that there's no movement on them. For us, it seems like two works really well. It's very sturdy. You also see this grate over here. We got this from the Lowe's sheet metal department. It's just a simple grate fixture that you can put on top as a screen that will hold in any sparks or any debris that might want to pop out while you're burning. This will keep everything in nice and easily. Now you see that this is our first burn. The blue has already started to peel off because of the heat, but you see that there is a flame at the top, but not any smoke. And that's because it's very efficient in burning right now. We have a lot of brush, a lot of limbs, some pretty large limbs at the bottom, but it's doing a really good job of burning it all down. And it's super hot. I'm, I'm a, quite a few feet away right here and I can feel it from all the way over here. So that's a super easy way to create your own burn barrel for your backyard.